What is going on, community? Peace and infinite love to everyone. This is Isis Love tuning in live and direct from San Diego. Now, this video I have been trying to get out ever since I think it was the beginning of the week. The energy was so high that day that I couldn't even record. Like, literally, my internet connection was really just tripping out. That's because the information really needed to come out. Sometimes when the vibe is as high, there's certain things or certain entities that don't want the information to come out. But needless to say, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna speak about this today. What's going on, Brian? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brian, for tuning in live and joining this. Um, if you're just getting in, just hit the share button really quick when you first come on to my live you have the option to just hit share. So if you could just do that, so you know, so this can definitely get out for people. So what we're gonna be speaking about today is we're gonna be speaking about, you know, a lot of different things. And most and foremost, we're gonna be speaking about these shifts that's going on right now. Right now, you know, we just had a, recently we had a new moon um, in Taurus. And right now we have Uranus um, the planet Uranus is in conjunction with that planet. And so right now in the world, a lot of things are getting shook up, everybody. I don't know if y'all knew it, but a lot of structures that used to be in play are not going to be in play anymore. And so it's important that we get ahead of the game. It's important that we learn and, and, and look at the timing and get ahead of the game. Like we have to get into the flow of life. Whenever you're in the flow of life, you're already in direct alignment of what's going on and you know how to execute. If you think about animals, right? Animals know when a hurricane is about to come. Animals know when the weather is shifting because you know what? They are listening to their inside um, GPS. Well, we all have an inside GPS, but it gets clouded sometimes by our ego, right? So we have to learn how to get back connected with ourselves. We have to learn how to get connected with nature like being within us because we are all abundant, right? So the moment we we tune into us more and stop focusing on the outside world, we're able to, to feel the calling. We're able to feel the shifts. Now, when I speak about being in the vortex, I mean being in the place where everything that you need is literally thought of and brought into you within a matter of seconds. Like, literally, your mind is your genie. I don't know if y'all really understand that or not, but your mind is literally your genie, okay? And so... However you're thinking or whatever you think, that's what you're going to bring into your reality. I mean, look around at your reality right now. Look around at your life. Think and then and, and pay attention to your mind and see if the things that you speak match up with how you're living, you know, because it very much it very much does. So. Right now, we're going through so many different shifts. We're going through a financial shift. We're going through a financial shift right now as a planet, as a whole. There has to be old systems that, that fall so new systems can come into play. So right now, because the, 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 the economy has crashed before, the economy has failed before, it has happened before. And in order to get to the new stuff, you got to get rid of the old stuff, right? So right now, we are at such a fertile time in life to become financially liber liberated right now. We're at such a fertile time right now. We're in a technological age, okay? Information is being shared daily. There's so many different ways to learn how to follow your passion and do what you really love to do instead of being at corporations. If you guys don't know, America was founded off of people having their own businesses. Nobody works for anybody. This age right now is so fertile because there's so much information being put out about wealth and health and how to elevate your life. To be poor, which is poor, I mean, <laughs> which is opportunities being passed over repeatedly, um, it's like, it's, it's crazy. 
Like it's really, really crazy. So we have to remember that abundance is inside of us. So the moment that you literally let go of, I need money, I need this, I need to do this, I gotta go that, I don't have this, I don't like this, I can't do this. All these words that we speak, the moment you let go of that, the moment you let go and let God is the moment that the right people places, situation, and finances will just come into your lap. There's so many communities and organizations of people that's helping you repair your credit, that's helping you strategically pay off your debt and your loans. There's companies out there, the information is out there. Now is the time to take advantage of all of these tools and resources that we have because once the dollar and the economy because it's going to go down you guys it just happens you need to be on top of things you need to already have a financial plan in place you need to go ahead and put you some emergency funds to the side how many of you on this call because i like to be interactive how many of you right now have don't have a emergency fund if you don't have a emergency fund be straight up be transparent it's okay i didn't have an emergency fund either about three years ago four years ago you know so be transparent if you don't have an emergency fund this type four type four in the comment bar and if you don't have an emergency funds to the side i can help you um i can help you start acquiring that because it's very important this is how we save ourselves for getting out of debt because when you have money put to the side you don't have to go into you know your income or your direct deposit you know what i'm saying you don't have to do that because you have money you planned ahead see we have to live in the now and think ahead all at the same time right because when you plan ahead you set yourself up um you set yourself up for success for success you know, and so there's things that has to change. Let me show you an example of what I'm doing, and it's a big step. Okay, we're gonna get you. Uh, we're gonna get you start, uh, squared away, Maria. We're gonna get you a uh, emergency fund going because we gotta have emergency fund. But let me show my experience. Let me be transparent with you guys for 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 a second. So I am in San Diego right now, beautiful San Diego, like busy high business type of uh <laughs> type of community and so i am making a choice to sell my vehicle sell my vehicle right that means i'm not gonna have any vehicle at all but i'm selling my vehicle so that i can get rid of my liabilities i don't know if y'all know what a liability and an asset is but a liability takes money out of your pocket so your internet bill your netflix um you know what i'm saying uh, your cable bill your your car those are liabilities that means every time your paycheck comes your money is going to that so we have to stop that cycle and in order for us to stop that cycle we have to start buying stuff straight up so yes i won't be for with a car for a little bit but guess what i am letting go and i am letting god and i am trusting the process i am trusting the process of my ancestors to be there to guide me through this process to guide me okay that's a big step to just get rid of your car think about it some people need their cars it's like giving up your cell phone you know what i mean but i'm making a choice a conscious choice to get rid of my car save up the money and see what I want, the money that I'm going to save from from leasing and financing because we get in all these loans we finance we lease every month money is going to something do you know that when you come off that car lot your car is no longer worth the amount you paid that's insane you spend 60,000 40,000 on a car in a moment it leaves that lot is not even the same value anymore and on top of that you end up paying double because of interest we have to change these patterns of what we do so that's why I'm selling my car and instead of paying somebody the car payment I'm gonna pay myself the car payment and save up for a car that I don't have to pay anybody about. See, those are boss moves. People think people that are making millions and, and trillions of dollars that they're just going out, splurging, and buying these uh, brand new cars. They are, but they 
set their self up in a way where it's not hurting them because they're paying straight up cash, right? Most millionaires get them a car that's four years older and it's paid off. It's a car. You know what I mean? It gets you to point A to point B and it's reliable. Most cars now can run 10 years. We're always constantly trading cars in, getting new bills, trading that car in, getting a new bill. It's an ever ending debt cycle, ever ending debt cycle. We put our own self in the matrix. We put our own self on the hamster wheel. So today I am making the conscious decision to the, for the next car that I own is going to be my car. I'm not going to pay nobody. And that's how you move from the left quadrant to the other side of the quadrant. That's how you go from assets to liabilities. Now I can take that car and I can make that car. I can have people run a car for me. You know what I'm saying? So we got to think big. We have to think big. We can't keep doing the same repetitive thing, even with your home. Think about your home. You are paying somebody's mortgage right now. You're literally paying somebody's mortgage. So you're paying off somebody else's dream home. What about paying off of your dream home? You know what I'm saying? What about owning your own home and instead of paying rent, you pay your own mortgage. And then you get to the point where you could turn around and rent that house out and be getting a passive income for renting that house out. Do y'all hear the vision? Do y'all hear what I'm, what I'm saying to y'all? Because I want y'all to really enter and over and understand what I'm talking about, right? We have to start thinking big. We have to start thinking in the means of not only just ourselves, but our community. Our community, right? And so the moment we start making these little small changes within our lives, is the moment that we can really start learning more and more about this wealth game, this money game, because things are really changing. The dollar is not worth by. And did you know that the dollar is just a piece of paper that we all agreed to say that we're going to use this for exchange? That's all it is. So we go, you know, we, we, we're fighting and killing each other every day over a piece of paper, a stinking piece of paper that they go out and they can print at a facility. How valuable is that? You can just literally go somewhere and print off money like it ain't nothing. That's no value. That's nothing. You have nothing with that. You have to elevate and you have to diversify your portfolio. If you have a dollar today, that dollar gonna be the same dollar in 10 years. That dollar gonna be the same dollar in a year. If you have gold, I want y'all to listen to me. One second. Share this video. If you're just getting on this, share this video because it's coming through. Okay? Share this video right now. If you have gold, if you start to save in gold today, the value today will not be the same for the value tomorrow and the next day and the next year and the next year. Suppose you buy I want to get real basic math for y'all because numbers don't lie. And I want y'all to see the numbers, okay? So suppose you buy five gold bars, five gold bars for $10. Today you brought five gold bars for $10, five for $10, right? Each one of them went up to $50, right? I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to do the math, and I want y'all to stay with me because I'm really here delivering these blessings for y'all because I have been so blessed myself. My cup has ran over full of blessings that I'm so passionate to really bless everybody that I come in contact with. Anybody I come in contact with, I'm blessing them, okay? So you buy five carrots, carrot bars of gold for, what I say, $10, right? So they went up in value to $50. So that's 50, that's another 50, that's 100, that's another 50, that's another 50, that's 200. That's $250 that you have made off of $50 of investment into gold. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? If y'all hear, if y'all can feel me, 
right? Can y'all please comment in the comment bar, 1111. If y'all can feel me, if y'all are on my frequency, because there's a lot of people on this live, but not everybody is tuning in to my frequency. If y'all are tuning in to my broadcast, if y'all are tuning in to my broadcast right now, I want y'all to do 1111 in the comment bar if y'all are tuning in to my frequency, right? So we have to start thinking different. We have to get out of our own way and eradicate that scariness. When you are scared of everything being a scam, when you're scared of it, I don't know, is it a scam? I'm not sure, I gotta think about it, I don't have time. All of these words that you put out in the universe, that's what you're bringing back to yourself. That's what you're literally bringing back to yourself. So it's the same thing with cryptocurrency. Your one Bitcoin is worth well over, it's, it's worth 8,000. Your dollar is only worth $1. We have to get out of our own way and get ready for this financial shift. I'm able to see stuff before it even comes. And so I'm sitting here and I'm trying to tell you guys, direct channel from the source, that things are changing. They're changing right in front of our eyes right now. Some of us are so wrapped up into bills and so wrapped up into stress and so wrapped up over people who don't even love us that we can't even see the vision. We can't even see the vision and the blessings that's all around us. So if you don't have you any gold, if you don't have you any cryptocurrency, don't be crying when shit hits the fan. Don't cry when shit hits the fan and be stressed out because the information is there. You have to get out of your own way and make something happen because nobody is holding you back but you. Nobody is stopping you but you. The excuses that you make up, that's what's stopping you. So we have to get past the excuses and we have to really push forward because we're not just doing this for ourselves. You know, we're doing this for our community. We're doing this for our children. We're doing this for our children's children. So it's really time to shift the paradigms and the minds of, of the old ways of thinking because this is a new age. This is a new era. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Technology is getting fancy and fierce every day. And you either get with the program or get left behind. And so with that being said, it's time for you to really just follow your passion. Whatever it is that you like to do in life, that should be what you're making an earning off of. That's what you should be making an earning off of. I don't care if you like to knit blankets if that's what you want to do just by you having that passion and that drive and that focus you're gonna blow up just from knitting blankets because your energy is behind that so don't settle for less because we're all worthy of abundance don't settle for some corporate job if you don't want to work at some corporate job you know don't settle for that if you like to do it no problem it's okay I'm not saying it's a bad thing. We, we need people in the corporate office. But all I'm saying is if you're ready for a change and you're ready for something different and you're ready to have your time back because somebody that controls your time, controls your mind, any way you 30, 40, 50 years old and you have to ask somebody for a lunch break, you a grown man, a grown woman. And you got to ask somebody else if you can go to the bathroom? Whoa. Mind fucking blown. Mind fucking blown. <laughs> you are a grown woman and a grown man. And you have to ask somebody to go on a lunch break? Whoa. Mind fucking blown. That's crazy. That's insane. We are all 
worthy. We are all abundant. We don't have to settle for anything, community. We don't have to settle for nothing. Why would you go to a job that you don't like, that makes you feel sick? Why would you go battle traffic every day to a job that you don't like? Why? Why? When there's so many opportunities out there for you to follow your passion. There's so many opportunities out there for you to work from your cell phone. Let me tell you, if y'all have been following my journey, journey to a multimillionaire, don't watch me join me. Don't watch me become a multimillionaire, which I already am. Join me because I have the tools and the system to help you get there. What time is it? It's 1135 right now in California. And some people right now are at work. Oh my gosh. How is that living free? You got to be at work right now? Life should be about it being 1135 and you do what you want to do. You go where you want to go. It's a blessing for me to be able to just wake up in the morning. And I don't have to go to nobody's job. And I don't have to battle traffic. And I'm sitting here telling you all of you that are here right now and that are going to watch. If you guys are watching this later, I want you to type in replay if you're watching this uh, later. If you're watching this live right now, everybody just comment live for me, please. If I can do it, you can do it. All of us can do it. It's not hard and it's not easy. It's simple, okay? It's not hard and it's not easy, but it's simple. But you have to get out of your own way. You have to get out of your own way. So right now, what I want to do right now, and I'm, I'm glad y'all just staying, staying here with me, y'all. This is coming from the heart. This is coming from the heart. I'm sharing this from the heart, okay? This is coming from the heart. Like I feel, I just, I feel it. Like this is coming from my heart that I know that we can do this as a community. So what I want us all to do right now is just to close our eyes and just take a deep breath in. And this exhale. <sighs> Take a deep breath in. And exhale. <sighs> One more time. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. <sighs> Keep your eyes closed. And I want you to repeat after me. Right now, in this now moment, I get out of my own way. And I shall allow all the abundance the universe has to offer to me. Right now, in this now moment, I am getting out of my own way. And I'm allowing all of the abundance that the universe has to offer me. Right now, in this now moment, I am getting out of my own way. And I am allowing the universe to bless me with all of the abundance. Did y'all feel that? Did y'all feel that? Right now, today, I am opening my calendar up and I'm today, I wanna help as many families as possible. I want y'all to listen to me real quick. If you are serious about becoming financially independent. If you are serious about leaving the matrix and quitting your nine to five and learning more about financial literacy and learning how to cultivate a financial um, mindset, I am here. I can assist you in repairing your credit show you how to repair your own credit, show you how to rebuild your own credit, show you how to 
maximize the tax breaks. I don't think you guys know how important it is, how tax breaks work. A lot of people don't know how taxes work. They think they just file their little W-2 and then they get their tax return every 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 year. That's not just the gist of how taxes work, you guys. But we have to elevate our minds. We have to want to elevate our minds to learn about this. Most people who don't like Trump is because they don't know how business works. Trump has blessed us with so many different things when it comes to business owners. Now, people who are employees, people who are in the rat race, it doesn't benefit you. You get hurt more by taxes. But people who are in business are happy that Trump's in office because they know how business works. You got to know how money works, not just how to spend money, but how money works. Money works in a way. Money is energy. It's all about money because it's all about us and we are energy. Spirituality and money is nothing different. It's us. It's currency. Currency. Check out the etymology of these words. Expand your mind. Don't let it wither and die. So, with that being said, if you are ready for a difference in your life, if you are tuning in to my frequency right now, and you're ready for a difference in your life, you're ready to establish your, your goals, you're ready to start generating generational wealth, if you're ready to start seriously repairing your credit because I have the tool to help you repair your credit. I give it to people, but people ain't ready because they steal in their own way. I can help people learn how to invest on the Forex market. But when I tell people, people get scared because they steal in their own way. You got to get out of your own way and let these opportunities be presented and blessed you. Okay. Get out of your own way. So I love each and every one of you guys that came on this live video right now and tuned in to my frequency. Share this. If this was valuable, this is how we start helping each other in the community when each one teach one and we all can share information because my ashe is your ashe. My blessing is your blessing. Each person should bless a person. That's how we got to start working as a community. I'm going to share one more thing with y'all, right? I'm going to share one more thing. I met somebody yesterday at the gym who just came back from Puerto Rico. And if you guys know, Puerto Rico has had, they had a big old like hurricane or something like that. And now like everything is crazy. So they're just now getting power in Puerto Rico, right? So literally people are out there in Puerto Rico with guns, protecting themselves because the food is a shortage and the water is a shortage. So they got to fend for their families. And so they're carrying around guns. It should not come to that. The universe supplies everything to us abundantly. Apples and oranges and lettuce and mangoes and bananas and papayas grow abundantly with grace and ease with or without humans that is abundance why should we have to fight over food and kill each other over food start growing your food you complaining about you can't get, i can't get organic food i want to start eating healthy i want to start eating healthy but i can't afford organics grow it We have to start becoming independent. So when a when a disaster happens, because disasters come, we have to preparate and we have to prepare for things. I'm not saying this to be scary. I'm saying this for you to open your mind. If we're all growing our food, why do we gotta go to the grocery store? If you ain't got no money for food, why you ain't growing your food? Stop complaining, stop playing the victim, and open up and get help from your community. Water is free. Why are we paying for it? 
If it's polluted, it's because we polluted. The change starts with us. Everybody's scared to drink the water. Well, let's stop polluting the water. Let's maximize our driving and let's bike to work. The change starts with us. The change starts with us. The change starts with us. So be the best version of yourself. This is Isis Love. It's always a pleasure to come on here and just share these blessings with my community. If you need any help and you're serious, I have to always express that serious part because I know my words and my time is well over a trillion dollars. What I speak is wealth. The words that I'm speaking is wealth and abundance. So my time is the very same essence. My whole inbox is flooded from WhatsApp to Facebook to Instagram to emails with families that are ready for this help. So I take my time and my energy very seriously. And I take yours very seriously as well. So if we both can agree to be serious and come together, I am here to share you the way. I am the way shower. I am a change agent here to just share blessings with everybody. So peace, love, and abundant, infinite blessings to everybody. This is Isis Love. Tune in out live and direct.